The leaders of the country had uh, done half as good a job as Normie's done for builders' labour, the country wouldn't be in the mess that it's in today. The tactics were straight from the BLF handbook. The members, led by organiser John Cummins, parked a car across the main driveway on the Cheer site in Market Street. Their intention? To stop a convoy of mixers from unloading wet concrete. Police called in tow trucks to move the car, but the BLF men somehow persuaded the tow truck drivers to leave them alone. By the time the tow trucks departed, the concrete in four mixers was already hardening and all but useless. The site manager told a further 15 mixers not to bother coming. Police decided to step in, but the damage done, John Cummins moved the car himself. The action, he said, was in protest against the sacking of eight BLF card holders from a site in South Yarra, also owned by Jack Cheer. Mr Cummins said he has no intention of paying for the wasted concrete. Well, the biggest pockets in town are Mr Cheers and we'd all like to be going half as bad as him. Now he's the one that caused it and it's only right that he's the one that uh, picks up the tab. More than 40 police took the labourers head on. In the front line is John Cummins, veteran BLF organiser. Talk to the blokes on site and you get the impression he's in charge. Well, there's still a fair bit of support around for the BLF, uh, you know, mainly because people like John Cummings turn up to a dispute straight away. Builders, labourers work, and if these fellas want to work under these conditions, then it's on their head. Right. Today, the Renegade Builders Labourers Federation held a rally to demand that Bruno Grollo compensate the injured. Grollo picks up the tab for the gorillas and the thugs. He can pick up the tab for the lost wages and the medically good expenses for these blokes. We're in it to win it. It's a 15 rounder, and if this, this is the best hits from the first two rounds, then Mr. Kane, Mr. Crab, and the NBA are in trouble, aren't they? Mr Cummins still stands by the gains Norm Gallagher has made for building workers. Oh, it's been an unparalleled uh, achievements for the uh, union. I mean, he might have trod on employers' government's toes, but that's an occupational hazard for uh, most uh, decent union officials. John Cummins' supporters have lost track of the number of times the BLF organiser has been arrested since the Renegade Union was deregistered three years ago. The government is determined to ensure that John stays in jail because of the fact that he's a bloody good union organiser. BLF organiser John Cummins was arrested for the second time in three days for trespassing. Builders, labourers and tradesmen cheered him as he was carted off and later walked off the site for the day. They can do to John whatever they like, but he's not going to give in. We're keeping the battle up, and we're the ones that are going to have the last laugh. Esther, the boys, and the building to raise. 